Hey, Bailey. Hey, come here. Where are you going? People have been requesting to see you more, Bailey. Sit. Sit. Okay. Shake. Good girl. No? Do you want to say hi to the camera? Yeah. He's saying hi to the camera. Yeah. What about you, Bailey? Do you want to say hi? Say hi to the camera. I guess she doesn't want to see you guys. How you guys doing? Welcome to the vlog. It's good to see you all. Happy uh, whatever day it is that you're watching this. I really appreciate you guys being here. For us, it is Sunday. Most importantly, it is Super Bowl Sunday. Go Chiefs. We'll see what goes on. And before you guys come at me like, you moved to Kansas, now you're a Chiefs fan? I've been a Chiefs fan since I lived in our apartment, okay? Calm down, all right? As you can see, there's been a lot of progress on the house since the last vlog. So I think what I'm gonna be doing today is kind of showing you guys around what we've been doing. It's a good time to do it because we cleaned the entire house yesterday, which has been like perfect. Not the entire house, actually. We probably cleaned downstairs and the stairs, and then I've cleaned up a little bit upstairs. Nothing too crazy, though. But today is Super Bowl Sunday, so later this evening, we're gonna be heading out to where we were before uh, when we first got here to Kansas to go watch the game and everything there. We got some buffalo dip that I'm gonna be making a little bit today, so that'll be really fun. One more thing, that before we get started on everything, I just wanna say thank you guys so much for all your love and support. We're really happy to be back on the vlog and really excited to be you know showcasing our life with you guys and going on our next adventure with you we're really really excited but most importantly if you guys are interested in supporting us also you guys can subscribe like this video do all that stuff and share it with your family that would be the best thing possible you know okay i think one of the first places oh come on camera you got it you can figure it out i think one of the first places i really really want to show you guys is the uh, garage maybe just to kind of showcase what's going on out there okay so if you remember from the last vlog we kind of unloaded everything from the pod and so what we've been doing is we've been taking stuff from the garage and putting it in the area that uh it needs to be unloaded and i've been doing about two or three boxes a night to kind of alleviate so that way we're not living in a kingdom of boxes i've probably said that term probably a million different times so let's head out to the garage okay nothing too fancy that's my old desk and everything i need to put it together gonna be my garage desk so that way I can do stuff in the in the garage like recording wise and everything because I've got a lot of stuff in mind for videos and stuff for this making our way through that's just a bunch of recycling that I need to put in the recycling can the recycling cans full right now and it's super weird because out here the recycling truck only comes every other week so we have a lot of boxes and everything that kind of need to go but I can't take them because the truck isn't here it won't it doesn't come till like next week I think so like I'm kind of screwed in that case we have I think these these are empty boxes. I'm actually breaking down and putting them there because we're gonna put them on offer up for someone who needs them. Cause that's actually what happened to us when we were moving. We were on our way to Home Depot and a family was there and they were getting they had just moved and they were getting rid of boxes and so we're gonna give those to somebody else who needs them also. All of our super expensive moving blankets that we got and then this is more like bedroom stuff. That's office stuff. So I've got my my tools all over there i need to organize it a little bit better and then just like random stuff here too so but as you can see the boxes have really dwindled down like these are all the boxes that i've pretty much gone through already some of them didn't make it like that guy right there like literally is ripped up on the side and everything so it's just going to the trash that's kind of the basis of the garage that's kind of like where we're at right here i'm slowly working through this i'm really really excited to get this all cleaned out so i can actually work on the garage and make it look like super nice because i want to get like shelving up i want to get like a, my workbench going my tools set going and everything and make it look all super duper nice but right now it's kind of just like storage and we also want to be able to park the car in here you know all right so this is a laundry room honestly nothing is different here besides like we got a really cool rug and remember those hooks we were talking about taking off yeah they're kind of just still here still which honestly it's been really really nice to have that because we don't really have a place to put any of that stuff right now, but that works totally fine. The kitchen is slowly coming together. As you can see, we've got some like really good stuff. We got our dish rack back finally. I love the, the counter space that we have. It's nothing crazy. It's perfect for us. And of course, I've got all my coffee, which I kind of need to get some more. I'm running out of energy here. This coffee is so good. It's even better that I'm drinking out of my stepbrother's mug which is one of my favorite movies. I think it's safe to say Will Ferrell is one of my favorite actors. Not only that, but Mark Wahlberg too. Does that say something about my movie taste? So moving on through the kitchen and everything, the fridge is the same, we haven't replaced that yet, but one of the things that I need to replace is actually that sink, the kit, the faucet. That faucet is really, really loose on the handle and I've tried to, to tighten the handle up and it's stripped. I'm just gonna rip the whole thing out and we already bought a new one, so I just need to replace it, which I've never done before, so that should be a fun adventure. So here we have my gaming content channel 
right there it looks great and then right here we actually just bought this dining table on facebook marketplace for a hundred dollars and so the plan right now it's fine for what it is but i think eventually we want to stand sand and restain it and then uh just have it uh, give it a complete new look it's beautiful right now it matches the cabinetry which is like exactly what we're looking for but it's just not it's kind of beat up it needs some love so we're just going to throw a, a tablecloth over the top of it for now and then we'll come back to it this is actually the rug that was uh, in our bedroom and it just fits perfectly in this room and it allows us to keep the wood safe from the table because the table does have like metal legs on the bottom but i have felt pads on them but the rug it looks better in here than it does in there for now in the living room because the living room carpet is pretty much the exact same color as this rug so it really would be hard to tell the difference between the two so we're just replacing it straight up all righty moving on into the living room the two couches have made it back that big couch isn't there anymore and then the console table is there and there's my sound bar my beautiful sound bar that shauna brown bought me a long time ago that was like one of the first big purchases that shauna ever bought me and i'm super grateful for it because i've literally brought it from the apartment to our our house to here now and it's just been it's been amazing to be able to use it's a sony sound bar she got it for me at target i want to say so if you need a sound bar it's a great price it works excellent check it out and it's bluetooth that's the best part i hook my phone up to it and i just play music and it plays throughout the whole house it's amazing the leather chair graduated from being in i mean this one's down here in the living room but there's one up in the master bedroom now and then these were those two couches that we originally had at the moreno house but now which is our the house that we first lived in besides the apartment now they've they've made it down here because the big couch that we bought a long time ago from pottery barn doesn't fit in this room very well it doesn't work well with the setup but with this we can have more room and everything for you know guests and everything we have this nice leather chair it's twin like i said is upstairs in the master bedroom and so we have a tv to mount there oh this whole wall is painted i i, I forgot i totally painted this wall and i actually took a time lapse of me painting this wall it's actually crazy because this wall took me five hours to paint this dark paint is so hard that it just like sucked up all the white it's kind of crazy so it was three coats of this alabaster white with trim and the wall done it was it took forever to do but now that it's done it looks absolutely beautiful it's confirmed that this is going to be the color for basically the whole house so you can see i kind of hit the corners up there and right there and then the same thing happened there and up there so the idea is to finish the rest of this house or the rest of downstairs and everything and then we're thinking about keeping that one that color as kind of like an accent wall and there's our pottery barn uh console table check it out and all of our pottery barn plates and, and jars and stuff this is one of shauna's favorite jars it's beautiful i love the blue accents and everything a lot of our stuff is available at pottery barn so if you like what we have you'll find it on pottery barn these couches i don't think you can get these couches anymore on pottery barn but like that console table and those jars and everything on pottery barn so invest now it'll last you forever it's the best Whew. okay so now that we've done basically all of the downstairs what's left is the upstairs there's not much that's different upstairs besides i mean the office is completely built out it's it's done it is what it is but the main thing that we're doing today is actually working on everly's room so we're i i already cleaned there was a bunch of boxes and everything in there because like i just needed to build my desk and have everything ready to go and then i just shoved stuff into that room which was a totally bad idea but we're going to be building everly's uh, dresser today which is going to be also her changing table on top i actually forgot the name of the dresser but it's from ikea because it's it's gonna last forever anyways oh my gosh the ladybugs are back this is one thing that we've we've found out since moving here is that there's just ladybugs everywhere that find their way into the house like there's one right there there's one there i have found them everywhere i don't know where they're coming through they're, they seem to be only on this side of the house though so i wonder if they're coming in through the windowsills or something but man i gotta get pest control out here and figure that out i don't I don't want to have a million ladybugs in this house. So Sean is getting dressed right now, getting ready for the day. And then we're going to be working on Everly's room for a good majority of today. All right, I'm going to get some stuff done, some cleaning and stuff. I will see you guys up in Everly's room. morning how you guys doing i just woke up not too long ago been playing games for a little bit but kind of just getting like some good me time and it's good to have some good you time you know yesterday was one of our hardest days yet no probably not one of our hardest days yet but it was a really really hard day shauna and i had to leave to get her some lab work done because for pregnancy it had rained all night the night before 
And we were like, oh, maybe like we walked outside. We're like, oh, it's not snowing, but the ground's like wet. So we both take a step out onto the driveway. And then next thing I know, like we're both on our butts because <laughs> the whole driveway was covered in ice. I I caught myself at first, but then like I ate it up, up against the car. But Shauna took a pretty hard fall. She landed on her knee um, and landed on her butt. And the first thing we checked obviously was making sure that she was okay. But we called the doctor and they're like, hey, like because that's considered like a hard fall, we need you to go to labor and delivery and be monitored for the rest of the day. Which ended up turning into like four hours at the hospital, which I'm not excited to see what that bill comes back to me <laughs> and I don't know if insurance is gonna cover it but regardless of the fact everything's okay she's fine the baby's healthy perfect moving around like everything's fine um, her knee is a little bit banged up but that's just about it and so we came home she was very uncomfortable at the hospital because the bed there wasn't super comfortable the room was super nice it was really cool we got to see the actual inside of the labor and delivery room once we get there we got to be able to see the inside of it and see what it's gonna look like. And so because Shauna was so uncomfortable and everything, she came home and she fell asleep. Like she was just relaxed. I was watching the Genesis Invitational, working on some golf stuff. And after like a full days of work and everything, come downstairs to get a little snacky for her before we go to bed. Cause she always, she always has a snack before bed. It's good for her. It keeps her full until the morning. So she doesn't wake up in the middle of the night. Like I need something to eat otherwise I'm gonna vomit kind of a thing. So I'm coming downstairs with the bowl and my foot flips on the uh we have carpeted stairs it slipped on the edge of the stairs so i like fell and landed on my back shattered a bowl and like knocked the wind out of myself and immediately i knew i was in like a lot of pain i tried to hide it at first by telling her i was like oh i'm fine i'm good but um i'm not good <laughs> or at least i wasn't good i'm doing okay today i'm very very sore but Yesterday was just like a very big like testament to our will and like our attitude and everything and kind of see where we're at. And then just to top it all off with me falling down the stairs and like hurting my back. Yeah, it's been kind of rough. Alrighty, so as you guys can see, we have finished Everly's amazing, amazing dresser. So if you guys don't know what this dresser actually is, it's just the Hemnus dresser, I think is what it's called from Ikea. And instead of the hardware that it comes with, we went to Home Depot and we bought these really cute like wooden ones. And it was, wasn't like super easy to install them. The screws for the uh, knobs were like completely different sizes than the holes that are on the knobs. So I had to like drill them out more. It was a whole disaster of a mess. So, but I think they came out really, really good. Uh, the dresser looks absolutely beautiful and it fits perfectly in this room. Overall, this dresser build has taken up about a week, <laughs> maybe a little bit more of our time because it's been a super busy week already. And then on top of that, we really wanted to finish this. So, but we're glad that it's done. We have all of our stuff that's in there. We have all the clothes and everything. We have everything on top that we need. and. Everything just looks absolutely gorgeous. And we, we love the way that it's that it looks in this room. We think it's really soft and delicate without being too kiddish. And in the future, I'm saving the hardware. So if for whatever reason, we still have this dresser by the time she's a little bit older and she doesn't want the wood and we can swap it out with the original hardware, we can do that. Plus it's good hardware. Like I'm gonna keep it just to keep it just in case we need new drawers on anything, any of our other units that we have around the house. But that's gonna about wrap it up for this vlog, guys. Really appreciate you guys being here. Videos are popping up right there. Make sure you guys go click one. What's next in this room actually is this wall. We're gonna do board and batten and then we're gonna paint the rest of the room. So that's what's next. Appreciate you guys being here. Make sure you guys follow, like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time, okay? Peace.